So um, we use clickers for obedience um, and it's to mark a behavior, right? Um, I think it's also a very good tool to use a clicker to mark the accurate behavior for the foundation of protection. So in this instance, we're looking for a dog doing a hold and bark, but the most important thing is where the front feet are placed. So it's gotta be placed on here and barking. And when that happens, when I double click, the dog will understand what that means. It means the activity was successful and the helper, not a decoy, helper will reward. Let's go, activate the dog. This is what we're trying to stop. Yep. We work like this. There we go. And that was a successful transaction. So this is round two, right? So we've just uh, educated him on how he gets paid. He was quite messy on the first um, approach. So we don't want to overcorrect him. We don't, you know, we want to build him at this point. He's a young dog, um, but we want to educate the clarity uh, for the hold and bark through the active learning, right? Okay, activate the dog now. Awesome. Second round, yep. Send the dog. Great enthusiasm. He settled immediately, yeah. We don't do all of that. No, no verbal communication. Yeah. Good. 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 That's what I'm looking for. Great clarity. There we go. Beautiful. The third run. Do we get better clarity? Activate the dog. So we have the marker. Active learning. Send the dog. Flies in, nothing will happen. There is no engagement, there's no nothing. He has to deep it back. There we go. We're not going to extend. Okay. We have the box over there taken away. Um, and we folded that all in the same session, and we want to see what this dog has learned. Okay. First of all, quiet, quiet first, quiet first. The dog doesn't dictate the aggression. Yep. Quiet first. Quiet first. Quiet first. Activate him now. Send him. Good. 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 I just wanted to sort of talk to you guys about this um, black, large black pig um, that we bred um, on site. And so it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful mixed day where we've actually bred the piglets, we fattened them, and we're now processing them. Um, and I just want you just to see how wonderful this mix is, you know. Um, and you know, for the dogs, nothing goes to waste. So we have the trotters here. Um, that will be fed to, to the dogs uh, also. Um, it's, yeah, the whole animal. Just look at the mix. Look at how colorful. We have everything in here. The right uh, fruits and veg, um, fantastic uh, meat, just fantastic quality. Um, I mean, anybody would make a beautiful bolognese out of this, fresh. It's, um, it's wonderful just to see the whole uh, cycle, the whole process of us, uh, you know, breeding them 
in a fantastic environment where they have the opportunity to be outside, where they have the opportunity to have direct sunlight and direct oxygen. Um, you know, it's a wonderful, wonderful farming strategy. Um, we are the only raw dog food company that can, um, without a doubt, without a reasonable doubt, uh, validate that we farm our protein sources and process directly. <laughs>